So we're going to kind of recap some of what we've been talking about with the characteristics of graphs for these um, exponential functions. Now we're just looking at a base to an exponent, okay? So first of all, all of these graphs, the domain is all real numbers. And if if for these, you know, that just there's nothing extra on it, just the base, there's no transformations going on, then the range is from 0 to infinity, but don't include the 0 because it's not actually going to touch um, the x-axis. Okay, so that's the domain and range. These functions go through the point 0, 1 because b is some constant, and it's not 0, and it's not 1. Um, and it's, you know, you raise it to the 0 power, it's just going to equal 1. So whatever your base is to the 0 power, that's going to equal 1. Okay, um, this is the y-intercept, by the way. So we know our point, that is a point on these graphs. Uh, there is no x-intercept because it does not cross the x-axis. Okay. Um, if the b is greater than 1, it's an increasing function, meaning it goes up quickly to the right. So if b is greater than 1, it's going to do this kind of thing. And that's if the base is greater than 1. If b is less than 1, uh, but greater than 0, because it has to be greater than 0. So if it's between 0 and 1, like when we had 1 half, or you could have 0 0.3 or some kind of base like that, then it's a decreasing function. And it goes in this direction, like that, okay? So here, v is greater than 1. Here, v is between 0 and 1, okay? All right. And then, by the way, these are one-to-one -one functions. Okay, they are functions. They pass the vertical line test um, and vertical line test. And they also pass the horizontal line test. So they make the one-to-one -one functions. The so one-to-one, one-to-one functions. Okay, so I don't think those vertical lines really help, but anyway. All right, and then just the last thing is there is an asymptote here. There's a horizontal asymptote. Fun word to spell. That means y equals 0 is the horizontal asymptote. So when we draw that, we're drawing that on the x-axis. I don't know if you can see it, but there it is. It's on the x-axis. The function is approaching the x-axis, but it doesn't actually touch the or cross the x-axis. So that creates a horizontal asymptote, y equals 0. Okay. Those are just a recap of the characteristics of these graphs where there's no transformations.